Hi, my name is Paul Weaver and it's good to be with you today. And yes, you were listening to one of the hit songs from the 1992 film Sister Act called My God. One of the lines went like this, nothing you could say could tear me away from my God. I don't know what your God is like and if there is anything or anyone that could tear you away from him. I do know, however, what my God is like. And I would love to be able to share just for a little while something about my God. But before we do that, I'd like to read Paul's account of his God. This is what he says, my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. I know my God personally. Like Paul the Apostle, I can call him my God. Christianity is really about that. It's about a personal relationship with God. My God, our Father. The Christian doesn't just know about God. They know God. They do. That does not mean they know everything about God, of course, but it does mean that they know him personally. My encounter with God began way back in 1952 when I was just seven years old. It was a special night when I realized that God was real and I could know him through his son, Jesus Christ. There and then in a small service in a very little church on the outskirts of Birmingham, I gave my life to God and to the journey of walking with him. I have never for one moment regretted that decision. My relationship with God, of course, today is quite different in my knowledge of him through the many experiences of life. But that relationship operates on the same simple principle of faith that as a child I accepted when I first put my hand in his. When you know someone, you discover the value of having them in your life. I know my God also is a provider. He meets all my needs, not all my wants, because my wants are not always the best things for me, but my needs are covered. His provision is guaranteed and acts as a safety net of care that stops me falling below the need level. I have personally known this provision for my material needs. We literally had food left at our back door for months when we hit what I would call the safety need uh, net uh, need. I have known healing for my body after suffering migraine for many years. I went to church one night with a migraine and at the end of the service, the preacher said, stand up if you've got migraine. And he prayed a prayer of faith and the migraine left me and has never returned. I have known his provision in directing my life, telling me what to say and where to go. I have known his protection you know, when I've gone into dangerous places and in accidents that I've had in life. And so I know that that provision is there. The provider is my God. My God is the one who looks after me. And Job knew that when he was going through difficult times and needed his needs met, he said he knows the way that I take. I know also my God's resources are sufficient. His glorious riches, says Paul, in Christ Jesus. God's riches are immeasurable. They have no end. They cannot be diminished. He gives, and when the gift is released to us, his resources are not depleted. So he can give and give and give again, but still be all that he is and all that we will ever need. My God's resources are not limited to the time zone, but are eternal in Christ Jesus. He gives to me today, but he will be there tomorrow with his faithful outstretched arms towards me in love. And when time is no more, he will have clothed me with a new body for my eternal dwelling. My God holds the universe in his power. When scientists are trying to understand how our world came about and governments are trying to face the great challenges of the green issues, my God has already planned the creation of a new heaven and a new earth. What is your God like? A human superstar, wealth, sport, self, 
or maybe a person you've read about in history or a figure in the history of your religion. Do any of these gods know you? Do they watch over your welfare? Do they have all the answers to your needs? Can, you for, can they forgive your sin? Can they provide hope for your future? Can they give you life eternal? In the film Sister Act, Whoopi Goldberg, who is the nightclub singer in the film, seeks to escape danger and she finds her safety in a convent. In teaching the nuns a song from her past, she changes just one word in the lyrics. The word is changed from guy to God. This one word moves the audience from the human to the divine, which is the secret to life. As for me and my house, we have long decided our God is the God that we serve. We are committed to him and by his grace, there is nothing you could say or tear me away from my God. Over the next few weeks, we as a church want to get to know our God better in a deeper way by stepping out beyond uh, the, the restrictions of where we've been before, stepping beyond the experiences we've had before to believe for increased miracles, provisions, encounters with our God. I believe as we discover even more about our God, we will be able to share our faith with those who are still searching for the answers to life. And so I want you to join with us as we enter a new year in a greater pursuit to know our God. God bless you.